Hey guys, what is up? It is Jillian or Jill G Fitness and I just wanted to come back on and say I'm back after taking yet another break and um, you know that's just school and life, it gets in the way so anyway I wanted to address a super super near and dear topic to my heart and to like a lot of people out there especially in the fitness community um, I wanted to talk about binging uh, my experience with it and how I stopped binging. Um, I also just want to say that I'm obviously not a professional. This is just all based on my own experience. So if you guys want some tips that could be helpful to you, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's get right into it. I have my notes here. So, all right. So tip number one that helped me stop binging is being full throughout the day and actually eating breakfast. What a goddamn concept. <laughs> it's just something that I could never really grasp. Um, I personally used intermittent fasting as like an excuse to not eat. So when I was younger, I would be like, oh, I'm not hungry, I'm fasting, you know, like it became so obsessive. Like I was so obsessed with making sure that I didn't eat before a certain period of time and, you know, pushing off my hunger signals. Um, I'm not trying to bash intermittent fasting. I'm sure, like, if you don't have issues with body image and if you don't have problems binging, then I think it could be a great tool for you. Everyone's different. But for me, I think it was more, I, was, I wasn't really doing it correctly. It was more of an excuse for me to not eat a lot and then as a result it's just when i finally got my hands on food i would just binge because i was so hungry and i had not eaten all day like i would fast until like four some days one time when i was younger i literally fasted for 24 hours which i'm i mean some people might do and say oh whatever it has benefits but like not for me like it was it was just something that I did because at the time I was so obsessed with being skinny that I was like oh okay so I'm just gonna like see how long I can go without eating because like to me I I was like proud of myself and that is just such a twisted mindset and a bad bad place to be in so lately what I've been doing is I've been allowing myself to eat breakfast and giving into my hunger cues and trying to listen to my body when it tells me that I need to eat. So yeah, listen to your hunger cues because they're telling you you're hungry for a reason. And the more you push them away, the higher your chances are of losing your hunger cues. I know I lost them. And then it's like, okay, now you're so out of whack or you know you're fasting all day like your blood sugar is low so then when you eat it spikes and then it just causes this huge tunnel turmoil effect of where you feel like you need to just binge on everything because you're so hungry okay another tip is realizing when it's getting bad again it's bad for me if i'm going through like days and weeks where it's just like non-stop and like i start binging on things that like i don't even want I feel like that is probably a common thing with people who binge, like you're just eating whatever. It could be something you don't even like or like you don't have a need for, but you just lose all that control. Um, and just being aware that it's a problem and pausing and needing to take a step back is a huge, huge step in making a change because you need to address the change and realize there's a problem before you can take the steps to change. Another thing that helped is really just stop labeling food as good versus bad because the more you deprive yourself of a food that you would consider bad, the more it's just going to consume you. Like for me, for example, if I wanted a cupcake and I was like, oh, it, it, that's bad. Like, I'm not going to have the cupcake. I'm not going to have it. I want it so bad, but like, no, I'm dieting. No, sorry. All I would think about is that cupcake. 
it this gets so fucking consuming like it's crazy and then you're just thinking and you're pissed at yourself and you're like i want the cupcake I'm resisting you know what uh, you you just get so mad and it, it's all you think about until the point where finally you're alone and you're like I want the cupcake. I've like deprived myself all day. I can't stop thinking about it. I need it. Like it, it doesn't become a want anymore. It's like you need that cupcake because you can't stop thinking about it and you're driving yourself insane. So it's like the longer you push food aside and say that you can't have something because it's not good for you or it's bad, the more consuming it gets and the harder it gets for you to control that you want it. Just have the goddamn cupcake when you want it. Get into your craving, eat it, and move on with your life. It's like, I choose to eat healthy because it makes me feel good. I choose to eat healthy because I know it's good for me. I choose healthy foods or I choose foods that make me feel good. Equating the food that you eat to how you feel is huge. I choose not to eat 17 brownies because I feel like shit after. I choose not to binge eat all of this stuff because I feel sluggish. I feel like I have no control over myself. I, I lose myself in food when I choose to do this. So it's, it's, it's like a, a shift in your mind of why you choose certain foods and why it's important to you based on how you feel. Weighing the effect that the food you eat has on your mood, I feel like is a huge shift for binging, for me at least. It's like, why am I doing this to myself? I'm just going to feel like shit again. Like, it's just trying to come to that realization. And I think binging, it's like a huge thing about it is like being in control and losing control, right? I go to the gym because I love it. It is the one time I feel in control. Out of everything in your life, out of all the, sh all the shit that goes on that you don't have control over, you can have control over your body and your actions and what you do. And the gym is a huge part of that for me. So I have control over my body and making sure that I move it and that I feel good and that I lift. And when my diet and my binging is so off the walls, it doesn't line up with the gym for me. It, the gym starts losing its purpose because then the gym starts feeling like a chore. I start feeling like I need to go to the gym because not because I love it, not because it makes me feel good, but because I just overate so much that if I don't go, I'm gonna feel even more like shit even though I already feel like shit because I ate so much and I feel so guilty and I'm so embarrassed. But if I don't go to the gym, then I have all of these extra calories in me that I need to burn off. I, I, I need to burn off these calories. I, I need to go to the gym. And then it's like, I don't even enjoy my lifts. I'm just so focused on like, okay, I need to. And it's like, no, 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 no. You don't, you don't need to lift as a punishment as to burn off calories. You need to lift because you love it and it makes you feel good. And when I'm binging and all of this is going on and my food is so out of whack, I just lose myself in fitness and food. You're supposed to love fitness because of all of the good things it has for you, but fitness and eating and diet culture can just be so toxic sometimes that you just get so lost in it. So it's just important to take a step back and kind of view, it, view the bigger picture. Another thing that helped me is being okay with overeating. Binging and overeating are not one and the same. You can overeat, everyone overeats. It's just a part of life. It's, it's a part of social situations. It's a part of holidays. Sorry, my feet fell asleep. Oh. Okay. Um. Going from one extreme to the other too fast. You're like binging and then you're like restricting so immensely. You have to kind of learn to meet yourself in the middle which goes back to what I was saying about needing to just enjoy life, enjoy the cookie, enjoy the brownie, enjoy the pizza, 
and know that you're going to overeat without it setting off a fire in your mind that you need to overeat to the extreme of binging and then go back to the extreme of restriction so much because that is just such an imbalance and the to- the toxic cycle will never be able to stop because you can't keep going from one extreme to the next and expecting something to change. You need to meet somewhere in the middle. So another thing that's helped me was to stop obsessing over my body so much. I think that for me at least, binging becomes way more of an issue when I'm trying to cut and diet. And I guess that's probably like most people, um, you know, when I'm, I'm bulking, it's like not really an issue, but it's just when I start putting myself and giving myself such an unrealistic time frame of how cut I want to be, how lean I want to look, like it's just discouraging and I'm setting myself up for failure because I'm expecting these results so fast and my body to just change so quickly. So I'm like, drop the calories. Okay, it's cutting season. All right, minus 700 calories right off the back. Like, let's go, let's go. I want it so bad because I have such a black and white thinking mindset that it's hard for me to not be all or nothing with a lot of things, but it's very toxic. And that mentality gives into the, um, the binge mentality. It's like what every good coach is going to tell you. It's like, whoa, let's relax. You're not going to do that. We're going to slowly lower your calorie intake. We're going to not expect these unrelaxed unrealistic expectations of what your body's gonna look like because in such a short period of time and just slowly lower your calories like you kind of have to just like check yourself like and I feel like when I'm so obsessed with my body then I'm like I'm checking my body in the mirror every second of the day I'm constantly like worried about how I look it's just like you start giving your body and you start giving other things too much power over you and you start losing control. So when I feel like that and I feel like I'm not seeing results as quick as I want, it's like so discouraging and I feel like embarrassed and ashamed and I'm like, I don't even belong doing fitness. Like I don't, I don't look good. I don't feel good. So you know what? I'm just going to binge because I don't even, I don't even like the way I look anyway. Like. I don't look good, so what's the difference if I binge? You know, I'm still gonna look in the mirror and think I look like shit either way. So it's like, honestly, just changing your self-talk with yourself. Like, you can almost bring like affirmations into this. It's like telling yourself that you're worthy, you're more than just a body, that you can, you can do this, you can, work in moderation like you have to keep telling yourself that there's so much more to you than just binging and your body and feeling the need to restrict and binge I find when I am not putting so much pressure on the way I look and how my body looks I don't really feel that much of a desire to binge it's more so when I start putting so much pressure on myself and I need to look lean for whatever reason it's just like why being super super lean isn't even sustainable so it's just it comes down to just talking to yourself and trying to reason with yourself like why am i binging like let's try and address why we're doing this what's the reason okay you want to lose weight okay so what happened to the middle ground of where we slowly reduce the calories not expect you know, these changes that are unrealistic. Like, what happened to that, Jillian? Oh, oh, you forgot about that. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so you, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're kind of like, oh, shit, what am I doing? You kind of have to just think to yourself and change your mindset. Then you deserve a cookie because you want it. Like, why can't you have it? You just want it. So just have it, don't have 17. So honestly, it's just 
a matter for me it was, it's just getting sick of my own shit like sometimes when I go through binging cycles it's like I just need to hit such a low in my binge where it's just like really affecting me to the point where I'm like this needs to stop like I cannot do this anymore because this is just affecting me so much in every aspect that I I can't can't do this so you're, you're aware it's a problem you're at this low you want to change you need to change to better yourself and your life and your quality of life and it's not easy it's really not but you have to be able to realize all of these things and want the change because you want them because you're allowed to eat you know eating it's it's as much of okay yeah this food makes me feel good and it's nutritious and blah 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 but also like this cupcake makes me feel good because i want it because i love a sweet treat it that's part of a feeling okay so that's feeling good too and just being patient and gentle with yourself and, and changing your self-talk like it's not gonna happen overnight it's not always gonna be quick you're gonna have a bunch of setbacks that's just life with everything everything i know it's not easy for everyone and i know maybe i'm saying switch your mindset all this and it's it's not that simple and i feel like until you get it and until it really clicks with you you don't get it i could watch a video like this and be like okay like go fuck yourself like sick i get all the tips i understand that's not gonna work get help like end the stigma get help maybe you don't want to go see a therapist or you don't want to go to like a dbt group but why not there's nothing wrong with going like if it's really so consuming and you really want to change that's a sign of strength you're doing something to help benefit yourself and change yourself because your quality of life is suffering. It's not a sign of weakness. If you don't want to get professional help, confide in someone that's close to you. Try and tell them how you feel, asking for them to maybe not give advice, but just to listen to you and how you feel. You know, find, seek out help in through different platforms that are promoting it and are trying to help people change and get a hold of issues like this so yeah i think that's it i think that's everything i just want to say thank you for watching and if any of this helped you please like the video comment and subscribe and i will see you guys when i see you next bye